Quarterback Riley Nelson, first of all, last Saturday was left-handers day. How'd you celebrate? <laughs> Carrie Hokey, uh, Coach Matt Hall's secretary, she's left-handed. I uh, went and bought her left left-handed pair of scissors. Did you give them to her yet? Yeah, I got them to on on the holiday. Okay, because that was you a couple days ago. She said she didn't have them. <laughs> well, you caught me. I gotta go. I, what, what happened was they only make them for little kids' size, and you know she does heavy duty work up there, so I couldn't get them to her. She is like five one or five two though, so you, those would work, right? No, man, come on. She's just. <laughs> it's not. It's not the person doing the work. It's the work that she handles, and she needs some big time scissors for all that she does for us. Okay. Okay. We love Carrie. All right. Well, happy Left Handers Day, yeah, thank you. even though it was a few days ago. Yeah. Um, a couple years ago, you had the shaved head look. Last year, now you're growing it out. You've got the headband going and uh, the cutoff shirt. What inspired the look this year? The late 80s, early 90s, man. We, uh, I don't know, I just saw some some highlights from the late 80s, early 90s. That's what's the cutoff. The hair is just, I love wake surfing. And you kind of need that for a little bit of swag and out there, you know. I, I'm such a wannabe surfer. I can't, I can't paddle through the waves, so I can't surf in the ocean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but behind a boat, I love it, so I try and be as big of a poser, I guess, as I want. But uh, I mean, once school starts, it's all going to have to go away. I'm just kind of having f some fun in the summer. Okay, and you've got Jim McMahon's Heisman, you know, look posted all over your wall, right? All the, he had the cut off, the hair going too in the '80s. Did he really? I didn't know about that. I know, I mean, I know he wore the headband around his neck. And that one time with Pete Rozelle, when he was finding him, he wore, he wore Rozelle on his headband. Uh, I knew he wore gloves, but no, I didn't know Jim. That's honored. If I, I know he had a lot of style, a lot of originality. So if I, th I think short shorts were in for basketball and short jerseys were in for football, period. So yeah. maybe it was everybody. I think we should bring him back. Personally, I think you're more mobile. Definitely a lot cooler. I mean, these guys are dying of heat because I get the, uh, you know, I got the stomach showing. That's where you lose most of your body heat. <laughs> I'm joking. And you get to tan while you're at it, too. <laughs> yeah, it's right. I've worked hard on my tan in the summer. This and is I don't a lot wanna... cheaper than going to Exactly. Retail, I don't want to lose it right now. I'm getting some funky tan lines. All this right here is... No, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just to have fun. you got to do something to break up the monotony. And, uh, you know, I wear goofy socks uh, like today. And, I mean, if I go out come long game days looking like this, somebody please take me off the field because <laughs> this is not a good look. But you got to do something, you know. It makes your guys smile, even if they're laughing at my expense. At least they're laughing because two -a days can be a drag, man. And it's like Groundhog Day out here. Exactly. If you don't find some ways to have some fun and lighten it up, then uh, then it's rough. And if I can be that for a couple of my teammates, then good. All right, on a more serious note, how's your shoulder doing after the uh, operation last season? Doing really well. That's that's uh, the main reason in the spring game I wanted to go full contact is to take some hits and, and see how it went. Held up great then, and it's even stronger and better now. I've never seen a green jersey on special teams before, but it looks like we may see you in some uh, punt coverage this year. Yeah, I made the punt team, and, um, you know, I just – I. The physical part of football is really intriguing to me. I really like it. and uh, I mean, I'm the outside contain guy, so I'm not flying down there, you know, torpedoing into returners. But uh, I'll be able to help the team on uh, punt coverage and, you know, hopefully hit some people. You may be a quarterback, but you like hitting people. That's no secret. Yeah, no secret at all. It's the only way I know how to play the game. My dad always told me um, you got to deliver the blow, meaning hit before you get hit, because hitting hurts a lot worse than getting hit. Yeah. And a quarterback, unfortunately, we're in the position a lot to get hit, blind sides and blitzes and stuff. But uh, anytime I can deliver it, I, I relish the opportunity. So in a previous light, were you an inside linebacker? I think, or a fullback maybe. I don't know. I've always been more offensively minded than defense. So I think probably like an old, uh, you know, who's the guy for the Redskins? Or like Larry Zonka, one of those true fullbacks. I liked Mike Allstock growing up, all those dudes. Um, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, the only Washington Redskin guy we care about now is John Beck, who's going to get a start on Friday. So. That's right. I know. I'm, I hope his groin's doing well, and I hope that doesn't uh, take away any more reps because John's a great guy. He's someone who really reaches out to everybody in the program, but uh, yeah, I think, think just through the nature of being a quarterback, he's really reached out to me. I really appreciate him for that. It means a lot to me, and, and I wish him the best. I mean, you know, his coaches say the same thing that we all know and that there's something special about John. He does. He pays the price. I mean, it's what happens with a lot of of uh, guys coming out of BYU. Um, I know the media, because Chris Cooley, who's a fellow Logan High graduate, and uh, uh, he's a good family friend, talking to him and his little brother Tanner a little bit, uh, they said the media is really rough on him. But uh, I know that doesn't affect John, because I know John knows who he is and believes in himself. And of course, all of us here in Cougar Nation do. So I think he's poised to have a great season. 
You talked about your blind side. You've probably got the most experienced O-line that BYU's ever had. You're not really too worried about your blind side this year. Not really. If, if you get hit, it's your fault, man, But uh, because those guys don't make a lot of mistakes. They've worked really hard. Coach just broke down practice saying, um, you know, as we're, as we're kind of in the drudgery of fall camp, the O-line has maintained a high level while the rest of us, probably more mentally than anything else, have kind of dipped down because you're installing new plays and, and all that. And the receivers, running backs, quarterbacks, we've all kind of let our heads spin a little bit. But the O-line has really managed the situation well, maintained uh, a high level of play, and have really been a steady force for us on the offense. Yeah, today the defense was boasting and probably more prideful than I've ever seen them in camp. They just really felt like you dominated you guys. So what do you do to come back tomorrow and bring back that offense? Well, that's what it is, man. It's the ebb and flow. And the defense tends to talk a lot more than the offense. So when they do do good, it's a lot bigger deal. Um, but that's what I love about our defense. Defense uh, is to be played with a lot of passion and a lot of emotion, and we have an abundance of that on, on our side of the field. And offense is maybe a little bit more subdued. You still play with some emotion, but it's a lot more about execution and, and, uh, and the mental aspect of it. Um, but yeah, our defense did well. I mean, hey, man, if, if we're not trading blows, if you know, we're not uh, going back and forth, then I'd be really worried. I asked Jake this the other day, and I'll ask you, which guy on defense are you most happy to have on your team? In other words, who are you most scared of during fall camp on the other side of the line? <laughs> I don't know, man. Loney is a freaking bear. <laughs> Loney, uh, he's uh, He's two guys. Yeah, I know. That's he really what it is. His calves are big around as my quads, and so he's really scary. But uh, luckily, I'm faster than him, so I can run away. I don't know. <laughs> There's, I mean, of course, Jordan Pendleton. He's got those that stare and those eyes that just freak you out. Kyle Vinoy, is so long and play. He plays with anger, man. I love to see it. And then, I mean, our safeties. You got Danny Sorensen and Mike Haig and Carter Meese and Travis Uwale back there, laying hits. I mean, they they pull up a lot of time. I know we've had some some hits out here where they shouldn't have, uh, and they never should do that. But I mean, it's just a little bit of what they're capable of. And and there's many times where they've pulled up where, you know, those are game stoppers where the dude's going to be laying, the passes will be broken up, the dude be laying out on the field, and I have to pick him up. So. We got a lot of scary guys on defense. I didn't even talk about any of the linebackers. There's Wana and Brandon Ogletree. I mean, Ogletree will rip your head off and hand it to your mom, you know, and not even <laughs> think twice about it. So we just got a great overall defense. Okay, thanks, Riley. Thank you.